Hey guys, welcome to a Dragon Ball Legends tutorial video. So, um, I put a couple videos out on Dragon Ball Legends. I did a full overview of what it was without any in-game play or anything like that. Um, and I also did a little bit of uh, actual gameplay footage without actually talking about it. So I figured, uh, might as well today go over Dragon Ball Legends and how to navigate around the home screen and what all the basics are of the game. So right now we are in the Many Thanks campaign. The game has been out for, I'd say, about a month and a half now for people to actually play. Um, I did start playing a while ago when I was, um, when it was only available in a select countries. I got a VPN key, I downloaded it, and I rerolled about 30 times until I actually, you know, uh, got the characters I wanted to start with. Um, now, I did talk about it in that video. It was about a 30, 35 minute video of me just talking and showing you internet like pages and stuff. Um, if you want to know, the two characters you really should try to strive to get in one um, at once is going to be the Vegeta and the Piccolo. Those two are going to put you really far in the game as of right now without any metas or anything like that. Um, but other than that, let's go take a look at what we have here on the screen. Right now, you see the Vegeta, my Vegeta that I have on screen. Up here, we just have a banner. It's almost it's the same thing as Dokkan Battle. If you guys are from, you know, if you guys play Dokkan Battle, if you guys don't know, if you are brand new here, I'm a primarily Dokkan Battle channel. Um, so I'm going to make a lot of references to Dokkan Battle. If you're not sure what that is, go check out most of my other videos. It's going to have a lot of information. So we have the Many Thanks campaign. We have the Legend, Ra Legends Rising banner that's available. The Space Time Duel number two. The Nappa that's available, the Nappa event that's available, like all, all the events that are currently here and the summoning that's available. You have your in-game mail that you can go and check out. Uh, this is essentially your news. Um, it's a little mail icon. It's a news of everything that's happened so far in-game, what's available, and you can check everything here. Read this, guys, for the life of love of God. Please just read it. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a big problem on Dokkan Battle Community. No one ever reads the news. You have the news, you have the events, and you have updates that have come out. You can get the details of the updates right here. Um, it's a little bit lacking in some of that, but there you have that information. You do have a gift box as well. Gift summary, gift receipt history. You have all that information, um, apology crystals, pre-registration, this and that. So you have that so you can go through and look. Um, so you have all that information right over there. Pretty much whenever you get gifted something, it's going to be here. Um, other than that, you have story mode, you have PvP, it's story mode over here, PvP over here, and mission guide. You can access all of that from the mission, from the menu over here. You have the news feed up top. Well, I'll say you have the news feed, you have the friend feed, status, items, present, other, adventures, which I have two completed. That's why I see a little symbol over there. You could customize your characters over here. Some characters will have some items. Uh, this one, this is my shallot. Shallot can go between regular key or his regular gi to his Goku gi. Um, you can attach accessories when you get them, uh, pretty much just for shallots, so that's all you can really do right now. Um, back over here, you get your presents, you get your items, you get uh, some other, which is pretty much just help options, data transfer. Make sure you do your data transfer, alright? Go ahead and link it with one of your accounts. It's Google ready, Facebook ready, and Twitter ready. Definitely go ahead and do that. You have FAQ, you have play, cinema, you have this option for the cinematic for the beginning. I guess we don't want to watch that. Do you want to skip the movie? Yes, I do. Uh, so you can go rewatch the movie if you want to. You have your privacy options. You can go check over, well, the, what, what's actually information about the privacy. Uh, you have a help that gives you basic information. The help could be a little bit better, uh, but it does give you a basic description of what everything is in game. Um, you have story mode over here. You have training. You can go into your training um, items or training options and you can select the training location. Um, I, I don't really do this too often, but you can whatever items you have. Select the character you want to train up, like you select them, you begin training. I'm not going to do that at this time. That's how you will increase their levels. Um, so you have that and you can do that from different items. Different items give you different buffs. Limited time training. There's no, nothing available for training grounds right now, so that will come out when it's available. Um, back to the main menu, uh, PVP is the major thing that's over here. You can go into PVP and you go and you select it. You obviously will go, are going to go up against other opponents. Before you select the rating match, the one on the right hand side, you have to select your team. It's like I have my Saiyan boost team, my sparking team, and then I just have some random teams that I threw together for different events for different things uh, for different buffs. So you can go over here and uh, the team building guide I'm going to do in a separate video because that's going to be its own you know beast that I have to take on. But make sure you select this before you select the battle. You will get boosted characters over here and popular characters so that way you know which ones will give you different rewards like boosted characters will give you... Um, Let's see over here. Well, there's a, yeah, there we go. Season reward boost characters. You get different points. You get additional points for um, having them on your main team. Um, and then effect plus one items will not stack. So yeah, items plus one. And then the more powerful bonus will be prioritized rating points 1.1. So you have all this different stuff in here for boosted characters. And they have this, something very similar um, on the Bleach Brave Souls guild quests. You have characters that give you additional 
uh, bonus points when you're playing. Uh, you're pretty much going to want to throw these guys if you have them on your team. Uh, you don't need to be primarily, uh, I don't think you have to have them actually on the team that you're fighting with. As long as you have them on your six-man team, you'll get a, a little bit of a buff. So that will help you out if you're trying to place. Um, anyway, outside of that, back over here, we do have the shop. Uh, the shop's available for you to purchase Chrono Crystals. Personally, I don't really recommend doing it. Once you start, you really don't stop. They have a monthly thing that's going on. I'm not going to do that for skip tickets and for Chrono Crystals. Uh, everything's on sale right now because it's, uh, you know, the game just came out, so you can go pick up a whole bunch of stuff that's on sale. Um, I ended up picking up the Goku pack and the Vegeta pack to limit, well, limit break the Vegeta and to actually own the Goku, the Super Saiyan Goku. Um, so I bought that for 23 bucks a piece. Um, and then that, that's all I really did. And that's Chrono Crystals. As you see, I have 4,000 Chrono Crystals. And I have not really summoned that much. Uh, you do have an exchange shop. It's very similar to the Baba Shop. You have these rare metals. Baba Shop as in Dokkan Battle. Um, I purchased the Super, the Spirit Bump Goku. I'm going to do it again just because I have a, lot, a whole bunch over here. You hit exchange. It tells you what you want, and you could actually pick up a whole bunch if you want to. You can pick up the 12 of them, and then you can limit break him if you want. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, let's see over here. Is this limit breaking? So if we get two of him, it will limit break. So let's just go ahead and do the exchange. It'll also show you what a limit break is. Exchange 240 rare metals for um, 100 Z power Goku. Yes, now he gets limit broken. Now the Spirit Bomb Goku will have a star, which means he gets a power buff. Uh, when you limit break certain aspects of a card, again, that will be different for, for a team building slash how, well, what cards are type of a guide that I'm going to do. But uh, when you limit break them, they become more powerful. It's pretty much uh, what it comes down to. I don't recommend going in here and buying everything up definitely don't do that i mean this goku is cool but there's probably going to be better cards that are going to be available from here um so don't do that don't do any of these uh the only thing that's here that i that you may want to purchase um are going to be the the essentially these orbs over here the super soul one but it's gonna be the super soul tool the super soul two it's gonna have two stars at the bottom i bought all of them already it's a one-time purchase i did buy them i think you should go into the shop and buy them as as of right now they are a very rare commodity you kind of need them also to get your characters up to 600 with the new ex campaign that's going on, it is a little bit easier because you got a whole bunch of bonuses once you get characters up to 600. A uh, certain amount of characters up to 600, you can go and then you can get um, them as a reward. So you can go over here where you take a look at the missions. Uh, missions, you have your daily missions that are available every day. It's pretty much complete a quest, like an adventure, the thing that I just did. Complete a PvP match, do three story modes, collect a specific amount, number of crystals, like one-time crystals. It's very easy. Uh, you have your Z missions, which is pretty much like uh, the things that are just always encompassing in-game that are always going to be there. I don't know if it, if they ever actually finish up or not, but it's pretty st uh, standard stuff. Finish a character of the purple element 50 times, which means def you know defeat them, kill them, whatever you want to call it and you get these bonuses uh dokabaki impact is um when you use when two people use a melee move at the same time um or a melee uh arts card at the same time they go and fight each other friends battle blah 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 you have events over here. Uh, this is the special mission for certain events that are out. Like, this is for the, the campaign that's currently available. If I get another character, like that Krillin that I have, when I get him up to 600, because he is Ascendant, this is the um, the, the orb times two, the second orb to, uh, for for getting your characters up to 1,000. Um, I'm going to have to get Krillin up to level 600 in order to get that. And you just go through here, and there's a whole bunch of different things. Just read what you need to do. Some of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Um, some of the stuff over here, like, um, a battle 30 times with a character of the yellow element. So you get to battle with them. So if you have like three yellow characters and you bring all three of them into battle, you're going to get three. Um, it will, this will increase by three until you get up to 30. The same thing with like using a sun family character. If you put all three of them on, then you will be able to increase that by levels of three levels of three battle using Nappa. There's only two Nappas in game, one hero, one extreme. So, and it's different than Dokkan Battle when it comes to Hero and Extreme. So you can go ahead and do that to increase. And, you, you know, there's just little things to get through um, the, your missions a little bit quicker. Definitely helps out. You do level up over here. It's just like the standard level engage like you do in Dokkan Battle. Um, the more you level up, the more you get. I'm at level 27 right now. At level 20, you get 100 points to get the Super Saiyan Goku. At level 25, you get Vegeta. At level 30, you get Vegeta. Um, you get a whole bunch of Vegeta. Level 30, you get the 20 more Vegeta. And as it increases, uh, the characters will limit break even more. Uh, I pulled like three or four Vegeta so far well, I pulled like three of them and then I ended up uh, I bought the pack for Vegeta so I have like a five star Vegeta so he's like ridiculously crazy right now um the adventures I'm going in here right now I'm going to collect my rewards uh you go in and obviously success you want to pick what you can I don't have it available right now I'm going to probably put this part of like a, a, a another how-to guide you go and you would start adventure 
there's nothing here available right now, but you would select the, the actual quest. And when you're selecting the quest, there's an option under details, and it will tell you what attribute has the advantage, and you would select the character that has attribute advantage and send them on their quest. It requires Zenny, usually a thousand Zenny, in order for you to go through. I purchased additional slots, which you could do from the exchange, just so that way I have them available in case I ever need them. Um, but you don't need to actually do that. Um, outside of that, <clears throat> let's see over here. Uh, I talked about training. I talked about the missions, um, PvP. Uh, summons. Oh, so we have summons and story we're going to go over. So summons we have over here. It's just a standard gotcha game. Uh, you have your normal summons and then you have, well, you have your event specific summons, 14 days left. And then you have this summon over here, which is the altered space time summon. Um, this is the one that's, uh, it looks like this is going to be available all the time until maybe we get something new, but this is going to be your basic starter pack stuff. Um, you get the Super Saiyan Goku and the Super the Vegeta. Again, you really want the Vegeta and the Piccolo. Those two are the ones you really want to start the game with. Those are going to be your best bets. Um, and then this has pretty much all the same characters on it. I think it's missing like one or two of them. But you have Broly and he's new and everyone's all hyped for him. I don't think he's that great of a unit personally, but he is there. Um, the characters go into your box. There's no limit on your box, at least that I could see. Um... And as you get duplicates of the characters, it just increases their their um, attack or their abilities as it goes up. It just automatically feeds it in. So like in Dokkan Battle, you increase the super attack. This automatically does it. You cannot have dupes of them. It just automatically feeds in and you have the character level goes up. A sparking unit, you'll get like 600 points for them. And it just goes up by 600 for everyone you summon. And then you get other sp uh, special things about it. Um, story mode is a little bit different. There's different things about the story. You have the main story mode, which is actually a really damn interesting story. I really like it. I like what they did here. I'm actually kind of invested in the story, so I like it. Um, as you see here on the, it says preview, um, because it's, it, it, I'm done. I beat all the story, all the main missions. You can go back and hit select story and you can go through, um, all the basic missions that you haven't done yet. So when you go and you click on a mission, right, you go over here. And you have details. These are the people you're going to go up against. The advantage elements are over here. So, like, he is an intelligence, so you're going to bring a physical unit. He is technique, you're going to bring intelligence. He is physical, you're going to bring strength. It's the same exact mechanics as in Dokkan Battle, um, except there is a light and a dark element. The dark element is, is powerful against all the other attributes, and the light element is powerful against the dark um, attribute. So that's how that works. Uh, you also go into the reward section if you're looking for something specific um, for like a metal or something like that or a crystal. You can go ahead in here and you can see what is available to get the crystals that you need. I'll also show you how to figure out what characters, like if you need to unlock a character, um, how to go and increase them and find the special stages for the rewards. You also have challenges, clearing without a single casualty, landing the first attack, strike skill, which is a, a, a melee arts card. A uh, special move, which is uh, like a like a Kamehameha move, main ability, two switches, all that kind of stuff. And we'll talk about that when I do an actual in-game play, um, how to actually move around in the in the inside of the uh, actual battle arena. And we'll talk about what each of those are. Um, anyway, going back over here, we're going to go back into the story mode. And we're going to see over here, these are the special events that are available. It usually puts a limit on them on how long you have until they go away. This is for the Napa one. You do a daily that, as you saw when we were going through the missions, the special event missions. You go in here and you complete certain missions in order to get certain cards to limit break and to get certain items. We do have new Zenny and experience. Actually, this just became available today. <laughs> chapter 2 for the experience so you can go in here and you get additional experience when you play it costs you 5 stamina in order for you to do this so when you go in here and you want to play it uses 5 energy so you're going to use up all your energy when you go and do it but it gives you a whole bunch of uh, experience and it definitely is going to get your help you get your characters up to level 1000 a lot quicker or 600 whatever you're actually trying to do same thing with the zenny you need the zenny in order to ascend your characters because that's what soul boost what soul boosting is real quick um that's pretty much it in terms of navigation one other thing i want to do is we talk about characters we're not talking about team building here at all um this is how you create teams uh you go through a tutorial as soon as you start so i shouldn't have to go over that but when i do a team building guide um on how to actually build teams and set up your characters i'll talk about that um I just want to put this in the video, and I'm definitely going to cover it again in another video. Soul Boost. And this is essentially just how you find items. Like, I have my Vegeta over here, right? And let's say I want to go over here, and I want to ascend him. And, I mean, right now, it's not that big of a deal because I actually have the items. But there's an option right here called How to Get. If you're looking for one of these crystals, and you want to know how to get it, you can go over here, and you could select... Okay, cool. These are the stages that I get them. Usually... Usually, the higher the stage, the easier it is for you for it to drop. So if this is like part one, book one, chapter one. 
part one, book five, chapter three is probably going to have a higher drop rate. Events will may also have higher drop rates. There's all there's a whole bunch of stuff that's in the community. that tells you exactly what you need to do. So I go over there. I click on the thing and it automatically brings me over to where it drops. You see the level two Super Soul two purple super soul one purple but the one i specifically looked for was was the uh rising soul three purple and that's what it uh, brought me to in order for me to find what i need that's how you do your soul your unlocking for your characters if you're trying to increase their skill tree um this is actually called their soul tree but whatever um and yeah, that's pretty much it um i'm gonna go this is gonna be the end of the video i don't want to go over too much else here because i'm gonna do other videos and we're already 15 minutes into it i don't want you guys to get bored but that's it we were also gonna go over equipment upgrades equipment character list um how to edit your characters and how to build teams but that's going to be its own 15 20 minute video but anyway guys i hope that was helpful and informative for you guys um, i'm definitely going to start doing more guides and news uh, news information available for legends so uh, i hope you guys are in store for that because i can't wait to start doing it but anyway guys thank you for joining me here today and i'll catch you later peace